we've had um, an extremely low sea ice um, extent in the summer. The sea ice melted back to a level that we have not seen in the satellite record at all. And so what we're seeing is a gradual progression towards uh, ocean in the north that has no ice on it whatsoever in summer. It's sure to impact climate when so much of the white part of the earth near the pole turns to dark ocean. It changes how much heat is in the air and how the air circulates around the pole. I live in Fairbanks, Alaska, and I do research on the North Slope. That's the strip of land about the size of Italy that uh, borders the Arctic Ocean on the northern coast of Alaska. And we've seen accelerated rates of permafrost degradation. So more and more that permafrost is warming and then collapsing because of loss of ground ice. Temperatures in the Arctic are increasing faster than global average temperatures, and the degradation of permafrost has increased a lot since the 1950s. It is pretty amazing to be walking across the tundra, which is this vast green carpeted landscape, and to come across an exposed pit of degrading earth. To, to see and to smell that organic matter that's decomposing and to hear. I mean, a lot of these areas are collapsing so quickly, you can hear chunks of permafrost and rocks falling into the lake or stream that the feature's on. So it is, it's really surprising to see that and also disturbing to realize that this is going on across the Arctic. Some days we can fly through and see methane concentrations and even CO2 concentrations that one might associate with flying near a, a large oil or natural gas production facility or flying through the middle of a large city. Um, they're elevated that much. This kind of occurrence out in the middle of nowhere, far, far distance from any large human uh, habitation areas is, is quite remarkable to me. The more data that I look at from both the CARVE mission and from other measurements leads me to be concerned. The indications are that things are changing in the Arctic much faster than any of our models would have initially led us to believe, and there has to be some kind of consequence to that. methane concentrations that one might associate with flying near a, a large oil or natural gas production facility, um, they're elevated that much. And there has to be some kind of consequence to that.